Hey Pisces, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of March general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well and happy birthday, Pisces, okay? So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Here I Stand by Usher. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Mr. Usher's um, birthday, well, he's a Libra, so some of you guys will be dealing with a Libra individual there also could be topics as far as contracts and arrangements i'm getting also marriage those things could be on the table someone's last name could be raymond or someone's someone's first middle or last name could be raymond and i'm hearing the part like in the very beginning of the song he starts off by saying i know you probably think this is hard to believe but baby you're the only one for you're the only one for me that's what i'm getting I know that this can be hard to believe, but baby, you're the only one for me. And with the song here, I stand is like, this person, I literally heard, they don't plan on going anywhere. You, they wouldn't leave your side if you forced them away. Now, if you're completely single and you're like, well, that's a damn lie because I'm single. That don't mean this person ain't still thinking about you. Okay. This person still thinks about you, but something in their life was not balanced when you guys were together. or They had some type of imbalance because again, Usher the Libra and Libra's the scales, things being balanced. So there was an imbalance in the relationship with you and this person, but the love still stands. The love is still there. Either for you or this person, the love is still there. And I feel like this person, I feel like if it's not you, if you don't have strong Libra placements in your chart, I feel like this person does, or it's just like, this person just does not know how to balance their emotions well. They, they tend to hide things because the justice card, Especially in this main energy main energy deck right here, the, the justice card, this person's blindfolded. So they didn't see what they had right in front of them. They didn't even recognize it. And I feel like that's something that's getting ready to come back to the surface now. Um, I feel like somebody actually wants to talk to you face-to-face -face also, or you may want to talk to someone face-to-face. -face. It's just a, a need to connect on a very intimate level. And I'm not talking about like sexual. This person could be wanting to think about you sexually, but I, I feel like on a more intimate ne level, like eye to eye, not on the phone, not texting, not phone calls, you know, like wanting to be in your face to talk to you. Like somebody has, it's like professing their love. You can want to do this or they can want to do this. Somebody needs to profess how they truly feel, profess, confess. Yeah, and, and think about it. Usher also had an album called Confessions. That may be one of your favorite albums of his also. I feel like, you know, I'm just getting like this this energy of like, again, artist's name is Usher. Somebody's ushering in these strong emotions and feelings. I keep getting that. Literally, pun intended. That's what I'm getting here, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. We're going to get your major arcana, which is the moon. And then we'll get the card that comes before and the card that has, comes after to clarify, okay? Currently at the bottom of the deck, absolutely. So, uh, that's what I'm saying. Here I stand. Like, even though this person is not physically with you, this person does not want to leave your side. They never wanted to leave your side. Even if they were the reason that you guys ended, it's like, this person is like, they're still all in your energy. I can't make this up. And I feel like this person, at one point, you felt like this person was your protector, your provider. And it's just like something happened that, that caused a wedge or a distance between you all, some type of ending. But regardless, I feel like you both still are in each other's energy. Very strong. You have Gemini here. I told you for a long time, you guys have always had Gemini energy associated with you all. And I've seen people in the comments like, oh, no, Aaron Water don't get along. But I'm going to tell you in my personal readings with personal clients and even in my personal life, I know a lot of very extremely successful Pisces and Gemini couples. I'm not kidding. I'm being so sincere. I don't have Pisces anywhere in my chart. I, my my little is in Pisces, so I don't have strong Piscean energy within me, but I do have strong Pisces friendships, though. Like, people, I get along with Pisceans very well. They're the two fish. I'm the twin, so, you know, I, I get that. But, you know, with the lovers, it's like this, regardless of how much distance and space is between you and this person, you guys are still in each other's energy very strong. Someone's first mental last initial could be V I L T E. R S C G W or M. This could be you or this person. Also, K. I heard Kevin Kent. And it's interesting because I'm getting Christian, but Christian with a K. You know, people have very unique. Okay, I'm getting Crystal with a K also. You know, people have very unique ways of spelling things because there'll be somebody in the comments like, yeah, I'll spell no Christian with a K. This person do. Shit. Christian or, or Christine. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck. 
Nine of Pentacles single on a single man. So some of you guys are definitely single right now. But you just had the Nine of Pentacles. Now you got a Ten of Pentacles. You're getting ready to meet somebody who is going to be a long-term companion. Ooh, can't make this up. Hello. Yes. You guys have new love coming in. Ace of Cups, brand new. Brand new, brand new. For some of you all, this person could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or fellow water sign. Oh, yeah, fellow water sign. You could have a child with this person. If you're not of childbearing age, this could be like someone that you have, you've you had children with or a child with already. They're wanting to come back. They've never moved on. They, they're always like keeping tabs on you or watching you from social media or maybe even asking about you. If you guys have kids, asking this person like, you know, have you moved on or something like that? Needed to be strong with the strength card, Leo energy. Getting it also. The Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys are going to have... Okay, if you're completely single, you may meet somebody new in Taurus season. Or somebody who has strong um, Earth sign placements in their chart, specifically Taurus. You had a quite... You had the Nine of Pentacles. You also had the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of earthy energy. Yeah, you guys... Like, it's like they're saying it's going to be a little bit of a wait. So, again, Taurus season is April, May. It could be a little bit of a wait with the Temperance card. This is also Sag energy. I feel like you got new love coming in. I really do. Very passionate. This person checks a lot of your boxes as far as a, a, some type of companionship. So let's get the moon. Look, you definitely got something coming in. <laughs> Look at that. All this earthy energy. Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and then a lover's again. Yeah, you guys got new love coming in. So again, we want the moon. And a card that comes before and a card that comes after for Pisces. Sun, moon, rising. Yep, they go to moon. Sun, moon, rising. Venus, individuals. So right in front of you guys, again, there's that Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are going to have some happiness with someone who has strong earth in their chart. Or someone that you meet in the earth sign season. But with all this earth, yeah, I feel like this person is going to have a sun sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Right behind it, wow. You got the <laughs> Page of Cups. You guys got new love coming in. New love coming in for sure. And then you got the two of wands needing to choose a destination or a direction to go in. For some of you guys, okay, you may want to reconcile with a new person, but I feel like you guys are being, wow, I want you to see this. Some of you guys are being guided to go towards new love. Two of cups, absolutely soulmate. You guys got a new soulmate coming in. Again, for some of you guys, it could be a fellow water sign. Strong cancer, I'm getting. Because if you notice right here, yeah, that crab coming out the water. This could be Cancer by Scorpio. I'm getting strong cancer. It could be a fellow um, Piscean also. Or this person, if they're not a Pisces son, they could have strong Pisces placements in their chart also. But I just look at this energy surrounding you. This is actually really good. You got new love coming in. Okay. This person could be a little bit younger than you. A couple years younger than you. Possibly two or three years younger than you. First and last initial P-E-O-F, C or S. Paul, Prince, Preston, and Paige. Okay, first and the last name. You have the Knight of Swords. It's like something coming in very quickly here. With the Knight of Swords, you have communication. I feel like it's unexpected how quickly something is going to come in towards you guys. Something is coming in very quickly. Also, I'm going to say... With the song, Here I Stand, remember Usher, he's a Libra, and Swords is Libra, right? I feel like this person's like, I'm, I'm going to take a stand. I'm coming back towards you. I'm coming back towards you quickly. I'm not letting you go. Because Knights are always either going into battle or coming out of battle. Somebody wants to fight for you guys. They want to fight for this connection. Hands down. You definitely have a past person who wants to come at But, like, look at this, like, moving quickly. Like, yes, I'm claiming you. I'm not letting you go. Let's go ahead. You have the five of wands, conflicts, arguments, disagreements. Like that's what I said. There was an ending. For some of you guys, this could have there could have been an ending in Aquarius season. Because we just wrapped up Aquarius season. There could have been an ending. And this person has not moved on. It's like they're they're not moving on. They're not letting you go. But I feel like you guys have to make a decision or have to make a choice about which direction you're gonna go in. The hermit, Virgo. The hermit is someone seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity. Some of you guys could have also found something out. About somebody who did something shady to you. I feel like they were lying about it. Because the sword is down now. They're like no I didn't do this. No I wasn't messing with that person. No I wasn't entertaining that person. Look at that. <laughs> you guys get. I'm telling you. Taurus. And then you got Libra. Major account for Libra. Again Usher is Libra. I feel like some of you guys could have left behind an air sign in the past. And you're going towards an earth sign. Specifically um, Taurus. But also, if you look at these, both of these cards are associated with marriage and long-term commitment. This is like marital contracts, um, contracts, unions. 
And, you know, just to the peace, again, that's marriage. And then you have traditional marriages and unions right here. So at one point, you know, I just heard I once was blind, but now I see like some of y'all may feel like I'm never going to find my way to my person, which means that I once was blind, but now I see because even in reverse, he's still facing this hair font. So now you're seeing like, okay, new love is you, you get ready to see new love coming in very soon. New love is coming in very soon for you guys. Two of Pentacles no longer being confused. That juggling is confusion. He's in his head a lot. That's why that damn hat's so big. In reverse, no more confusion. I feel like you're going to meet somebody who has strong, grounded energy to where you don't feel like things are up in the air. Because this juggling, things were up in the air with a past relationship. This person was putting you in a third-party situation. For some of you all, there's two ships, relationships in the background. I don't feel like this next person is going to do that. This next person knows what they want. 10 is finality, like this is the end of a cycle, this is this is my long term, this is what, what's going to be, you know, the end game for me, and when I say end game, it's not negative, I'm getting positive, like this is who I want to spend my life with, yeah, because now I just heard spend my life with you by Tamia, who is it, Tamia and Eric Benet, mm -hmm. I'm hearing that also, let's get a clarify for the 10 of Pentacles, damn, okay, they all flipped out, but they flipped down, so I'm going to keep shuffling, but it flew out, and it was a couple of them, so it's like, for some of you guys, you could have been separated from someone for a couple of weeks or a couple of months now. This person wants to come back. I feel like if there was a recent end, especially in Aquarius season, like this person was emotionally immature. Because this is young. Pages are young, youthful. They have some growing and learning to do. And because it's cups, that's your emotions and feelings. Like on an emotional level, this person could have been immature. They could be older than you, but they're immature emotionally. Okay. Four of Swords. Okay, so the Four of Swords, again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, pull back, retreat, go within. Um, putting some distance between you and someone, and, and some you and someone could be definitely on a break. That of the Four of Swords, there's three swords over him, and three of Swords, um, heartbreak, sorrow, sadness, and grief. So there could be, you could be on a break from someone that you have intentions of being with long term, but there was an ending. Okay, you got the Ace of Cups in reverse. So a right is like your cup spilling over with positivity in reverse. It's like losing something. Again, could have been with a fellow water sign or this could just be you. Like you could be experiencing great loss right now. But again, I feel like something is, you know, okay, I'm going to tell you right here. He's laying right here. He's standing. The name of the song is here. I stand. So some of you guys could have been literally down and out and depressed over a breakup. And now you're just finally getting back on your feet. I'm getting it also. Uh-huh. Yep. That's what I'm getting y'all. I feel like this is definitely your energy for some of you all. Let's get a clarify for the page of cups. Damn, what's up? And you see how I landed right there? And I didn't do that on purpose. So the page of pentacles, yeah, so somebody is dealing with a loss, like some type of loss of a relationship, loss of stability from a relationship, literally like some type of monetary loss or something like that after an ending. You got two pages here. So I feel like, you know, there was a lot of growth that was required. Remember I was saying in the very beginning, like somebody didn't see your worth didn't see your you know they didn't see what they had right in front of them because they were too young minded or their mentality wasn't on you know building and growing because the pinnacles that's always your foundation building growing establishing something for some of you guys you know there could have been an ending with the earth sign a lot of you guys you're going to have a new beginning with someone in Taurus season or with a um Taurus specifically but for others there could have been an ending now, I'm getting like Capricorn, like, you know, that was the first Earth sign season of the year. Some of you guys, there could have been an ending in Capricorn season. And because both of these are pages, you may not have been dating this person for long, but you kind of wanted to have like that happily ever after the end with this person, but it just didn't go the distance, you know. And you could be just like, you know, you were taking a break, been single for like four months or since April of last year. And now you're just getting back on your feet. Like I said, the name of the song is Here I Stand. Getting back on your feet, but not feeling completely grounded. Because that's grounded earth energy and it's in reverse. So you're just coming back, getting back on your feet at this point. Bottom of the deck, again, justice in reverse. Again, Usher's a Libra and this is Libra. So some of you guys, there could have been an ending with a Libra or an ending with someone in Libra season. Libra season is um, September, October. So that would have been of last year. That could, definitely could have been an ending last year that you're just now getting back on your feet. Like, from dealing from some type of heartbreak. Because, again, you got the three of swords right over this person. If this fell, that's landing right in that heart area, right? So, you guys were feeling, yeah, somebody definitely. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius also. You had Gemini because you had the lovers and Libra with justice multiple times. So, 
an air sign definitely could have broke your heart or there was an ending in the air sign season, a crazy season, or any of the air sign seasons last year. But I feel like, you know, somebody is going to try to come back because this kind of looks like a prince who's coming in and sweeps the maiden off of her feet or something like that. I do feel like somebody from your past wants to come back. But I feel like, you know, for some of you guys, you're going to choose to move on and go in a different direction. You got two seahorses here. He's, his back is facing one. He's going towards another. And if you notice, the one that he's going towards has butterflies like growth and evolution. So I feel like a lot of you all are going to leave the past in the past and you're going to move forward towards a new love. But some of you guys, that new love will be a Taurus or someone that you meet in Taurus season. And for others, you know, I just heard drop the act. Like, somebody's like, drop the act. Stop acting like you really want to be with me and you're not offering me anything. Because upright, this is an offer. In reverse, it's not. You know, this person isn't offering much because it's already a page to begin with. So that's why I'm getting there. Okay? So thank you so much, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.